Welcome to Beers with Rich. I'm Rich, editor of Under the Radar Report. It's great to be back. Well, this week I'm talking about four interesting quality small caps. That's right, four this week. Last week, three quality small caps. This week, four. More for less. Or well, really for nothing. So I'm going to talk about the importance of long-term investing to grow your wealth as well. You know, not an unimportant subject. But let's talk about reality. We've all seen another interest rate rise from the RBA. Anticipated doesn't make it any easier and also makes people nervous, very nervous. Big changes afoot. You know, we're now at interest rates that mean something, you know, four plus sort of risk, 4% plus risk-free rates. These are, this is a big deal in, in markets. And it's important because, you know, it, it does have a depressing effect on sentiment. And I'd rather a market kind of was more nervous than gung-ho. Some of our biggest returning stocks, fourfold, sixfold, tenfold, are small caps we've picked during times of market duress, during times when sentiment was subdued. So here are four quality small caps that have proven to deliver stronger for longer returns over time. Infomedia is a stock IFM that provides software for car dealerships. Uh, so they basically work out the availability of car parts in, in massive brands. So this is crucial in tough times for these dealers because they really do rely on aftermarket sales. This stock in particular has been through some big challenges because, you know, big swings and roundabouts because of the, the, the massive customers that they can bring on and lose. Like Land Rover, I think, saw some big, some big selling in this stock. But the key is that the company keeps on keeping on. And that's why when you do have sort of big events on the downside, you buy more. And that's what we've been doing. Macquarie Telecom is another one you've heard me mention many times in the past, probably because we've done very well out of it. Data center provider and also IT services beyond that. So the company was founded and run um, and is still run by the Tudor Hope brothers who own about 60%. So this was a great opportunity where we first bought in at $7 and we thought, my God, I can't believe we got it so cheap. But before you know it, the stock actually went down to $5 and, you know, subscribers were knocking on our doors saying what's you know what's wrong but we held our nerve and bought more the stock is now close to sixty dollars so one good thing about these founder stocks or these founder led companies is they they don't raise capital so or very rarely do they raise capital so real patience can pay off the third stock gr engineering code gng has been a phenomenal stock for under the radar report Mind you, it's not that phenomenally interesting, you might think, um, being a contractor. What is interesting is how it manages to grow its work no matter what the environment. So no matter what the economic conditions, these guys, you know, do the business. They've got a big pipeline. And why is that? Because they've got the management, they've got the technology to build process, processing plants on time and on budget for mining companies at any point in the cycle. And these mining companies pay big money for this kind of essential technology. The fourth stock, Strike Energy, STX, that's been in the news a bit. And it's, it's been going up. It's gone up 30% in the past month. And I think it's got further to go because it's got what every gas developer wants, money. It's got $136 million that it's just made from the sale of Warrego Energy to Jenna Reinhardt's um, Hancock Prospecting. And it's got four assets that are on the verge of production. So there's a lot of potential there. Speaking of potential, speaking of which, what's coming up? Well, more stocks to build your portfolio, portfolios. That's what's coming up. And grow your wealth, because that's what we're about. Building people's portfolios with quality small caps. And we've got our research rundown coming up. We've got um, research on some new stocks that have great potential. So there's a lot to look forward to. This week's beer caught my eye. Obviously, it looks pretty good. Panhead. There they are. Rolling Stone. Mmm. 
Not bad. Until next week, bye for now.